guys miss me? Of course. Yes. What are the uh, inactives tonight? Uh, Chris and Sean. Chris joined you guys in San Francisco. What's the, the hope you can get out of him for these next five? Uh, just have him uh, around us and get some work with our coaches. And when we do have a practice or a shoot around, uh, just keep developing them, getting them better. And, you know, obviously, we haven't seen him much. He's been uh, doing some good work in the D League. And we obviously watch him there, and, and we like what we see. He's a, another young, developing player that we want to keep keep working with. And we don't know what we will have. But we have a, the rest of this season, the playoffs, and the summer to uh, continue to uh, get him better. Big picture, when you check off the boxes, what are you looking to get done in these next five, Scott? Just keep um, focusing on getting better. It's, uh, you, can't, you can't just jump into the next week into the playoffs. You've got to finish these next five games on, on, with the purpose, with the focus of improving. You know, the last three games were tough on us uh, in one sense that we didn't win. But in another sense, it was good because we played against three teams that were fighting for playoff positioning and three of the top five teams in the, in the West uh, on their floor. So it gave us a little bit of a, a taste of what it's going to be like going into the playoffs. Uh, so we know we have work to do and we want to we want to play better. Uh, you know, I thought defensively, like I've said all year, it's, it's been had some slippage. A lot of it is the, the schedule of not having practice and you get better and you improve on the practice floor and trying to rest players and rest, uh, get our legs under us so we can participate and be active and be fresh for games, kind of taking away some of that practice and shooting around. Uh, but we still have you know 10 more games before the playoffs begin. So we, we just have to focus on playing good. As you said, you guys played three of the top teams in the West to finish that trip. So in that sense, um, even though it's, it's the end of the season, does a three-game losing streak not so much bother you? I mean, I definitely want to win every game we play. I think you have to always have that winning mentality. and You want to have all your players impact winning and you want them all playing well. But I know come first game of the playoffs, it's the first game. You know, it's the best of four. And you have to focus on that. No matter how you ended up in the season, you still, you know, we have home court. And we're excited about that. We don't know where we're going to play. We don't even know where we're going to end up in the seedings. But uh, we definitely want to play better going down these next five games. Uh, whether we win them or not, I like to win them all. But I like to just play better and play with the spirit that we need to have going into the playoffs, and we need everybody to do that. What do you guys uh, need to do differently against Charlotte? Obviously, we played them just a few weeks ago and had a little bit of trouble on offense. Yeah, you know what? That was an interesting game. I think both teams struggled offensively, and then they had they had about a two-minute stretch out of the last three minutes that they made like three shots in a row. I think they made even two or for sure, for sure two, maybe three threes. They got loose with our mistakes, and we just want to we want to play better. And we know they're a team that's fighting for their playoff life. It's a, I don't know if it's a must win, but they have to keep winning games to get back into the top eight. So we're, we're going to get their best shot. Uh, so that's, that's great for us because we, we want to play. Uh, we want to get the team's best shot because we want to start playing better in our home court. We know we have a, a great home court to into the playoffs. We want to be excited about playing here, and I think we are. So it should be a good game for us tonight. Scott, it may or may not matter in terms of playoff season, but you still have a chance to win 50 games. Yeah. That's something you've done pretty consistently in your career. And just what would it mean to you if you could, could get to the 50 win mark? Well, it wouldn't mean, I mean, it would mean more to us as an organization. We haven't done that, I think, in 38 years. I think this is the last time we have won a division. So we did win our division, which was a great accomplishment. Um, but 50 would be nice. There's no question. 50 would be nice. But if we get 48 or 49, I'm not going to say, you know, our season's just, you know what, we just, we stink. We didn't win enough. We didn't get to 50. So, but it is a number that you like to get. It's always the number that 
you have in a, you had a great year in the regular season, but whatever we get, I, I like what we accomplished. We, we set the we set how we want to play, and we establish who we want to be as an organization uh, for many years to come. So hopefully, this is the start of something uh, good for long term. Yeah. Two of the, I guess, stories that came off this road trip involved technicals, talking to the refs, and then what happened at the end of the Golden State game. Did you see any kind of connection with those two things, and what did you say, if anything, to the team about how they did at the end of the Golden State game? Well, we have to definitely can control. We have to c control what we can't control, and that is our emotions. Uh, everybody has a job to do, coach, players, and referees, and we have to allow all the parties to, to do their jobs. and. It's a tough job. It is the toughest job out of all the jobs. Is uh, well, maybe coaching is also up there, but refereeing it's not easy, and I understand that. Um, but we have to do a better job of controlling our emotions. What happened at the end of the game? You know what? There's things that you that we want to um, do as an organization, and there's certain things that other teams do also. It's everybody's has control of how they want to want to be as an organization. I have no complaints what they did. Uh, you know, we also we could we could have played better the 48 or the 47 and 30 seconds before that too. So that's behind us. We have to focus on what we can control and how we play and, and our winning habits every day. Can't worry about what they do. Did Steve actually apologize to you after the game though? That was reported on in the Bay Area. Yeah, we've exchanged uh, text messages. I have respect for them and the organization. That's a championship team, and they're they're going to get another All Star player. Like I said after the game, we, that's three All Stars and really good players that are playing at a high level. The last minute did not take anything away how they play. I mean, I, you don't want their five man shooting at three, but that's none of my business. Um, when you're up twenty, but. No, they won the game. They beat us fair and square, and we had a chance to play better for the 48 minutes before that, and we did not do that. So you got to give them credit. They won the game. They're moving on. We're moving on, and we're focused on tonight. From your, from your time as a player and a coach, do you believe in the unwritten rules in that kind of garbage time? I mean, you sat your starters and started the fourth quarter. Do you have a philosophy on, on how to handle that, or whether unwritten rules like that still exist, I guess? Well, there. I mean, there's no garbage time. I don't know if, I mean, I don't call it garbage time because I was in there a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I take offense to garbage time. Uh, but I used to always tell people it's, it's my garbage time. You wish you could be in there playing during those minutes. Uh, you weren't quite, not you, but the players that were calling the fan, they weren't quite good enough to make a team. So that was my jab back at them. Uh, I have some roles. The guys know, you know, you're up. You don't want to shoot threes or run alley -oop plays and rub the score. And Golden State doesn't do that. They 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 took a, one bad shot, um, but that's not who they are. You know, I'm not going to look at them and you know wish um, bad luck for them. You know they, they they beat us. They actually they beat us pretty good. Uh, they they were making shots. They were moving the basketball, but. I have rules that I like our guys to to play by, and you know, our, our, we've done a good job with that. We've implemented a lot of good things, and we just got to continue to focus on those. Does the fact that Washington is guaranteed a top four seed, and with Cleveland and Boston together at the one seed, it's I don't know if you have a preference, but it's unclear whether you would want to be the three or the four. Does that give you an opportunity to rest players a little more down the stretch than you otherwise would have? I mean, that's a good question. I don't like to play the that game as a coach and as a team okay we're gonna we don't want to play against this team we have a first round matchup that's going to be tough whoever it is uh and that's what we're focused on we're not focused on who can we potentially play in the second or third or fourth round we have to focus on just playing well ourselves and you know knock on what we stay healthy and 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 what we play better we haven't really played with that spirit that we have to play with during the what we had in, you know during the stretch that we were playing well we're, we've had some moments that it's good and we've had some moments it's not so good individually guys have had good moments and not so good moments take same thing with team we just we want our guys to start gelling and playing better going into the 
playoffs. And we're not focused on who we're playing in the second round. We're just focused on who we're playing. Right now, we have um, our our staff is going to be working all day, every day, because we have to really prepare for about three or four different teams. Scott, um, checking the timer. Good. Yeah, it stopped about three minutes ago. Oh, no, it didn't. But it wasn't that good the last three minutes anyway. <laughs> but uh, you'll be sharing a building pretty soon with your former teammate. Did you reach out to Patrick Ewing? Um, congratulations. Oh, and did you... Um, I'm confused for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you also, um, like, when you, were, when you were his teammate, did you ever envision him as a uh, great teammate. One of the, the <clears throat> best teammates I ever had. You know, I was the last guy on the team basically making the team by just effort and energy and just being a great teammate. He was the star player. A lot of respect. I, I, I can probably say he was the, probably the most consistent player I've ever been around with his approach to the game and his effort during the game. And he's definitely the thing that a lot of star, I mean, he's a, he's a star amongst stars. Um, and a lot of them don't have the, they don't have the patience to be a coach or they don't want to put the time in to be a coach because they really don't have to they they have their life is set for just enjoying all the great gifts that that they've received and died being a star player in the league but one thing about patrick he's paid his dues and it surprisingly hasn't been a head coach uh sooner but he's never given up he's uh, i've always looked at him as a climber he keeps climbing and keeps getting better every year and I've talked to coaches, and I've talked to him, and he has as a, as a coach. He wants to be great, and I wish him nothing but the, the best, and I'm looking forward to seeing um, where he takes Georgetown, and I'm definitely going to support him and be at many games, and, and whenever he needs me, I'll be there for him whenever he needs anything. Um, but a great teammate, great guy. They obviously know him just like I know him. They're, they got a, a great person there. He's going to lead that organization or that university to a great levels. And I'm hoping to see him tonight. I don't know if he's going to be here tonight. Or not. Not <laughs> 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 <laughs>